What's the best software for podcast recording? No matter what anybody says, it's not Zoom. I'm sharing our top three picks, including one that is totally free, and any of them will record both video and audio, or just audio if that's all you need. Whether you're figuring out how to start a podcast or you already have one and you just need a better solution, in just a few minutes, you'll know the best podcasting software for you. Plus, a lot of my clients have these aha moments when I show them how to save time on editing while they're recording. So stay till the end and I'll share the tips that they loved learning about. Option number one is a tool called Wave Room. It's a free browser-based tool to record audio and or video and is a great starter option. What I love? Well, first, I can't believe it's free, or at least as of this recording. Apologies in advance if they decide to start charging at some point in the future. You can bring on guests, up to five people total. There's nothing for you or potential guests to have to download ahead of time. And it records locally, which means if you do have a co-host or a guest that's somewhere else, it'll record locally on their computer as well as on your computer for your part, and then it'll sync them up in the cloud. In fact, that is true for all three options we're sharing today. And that's one of the reasons that Zoom is not a great way to record podcasts or any other content. The quality is up to 2K, which is better than 1080p, but obviously not as good as 4K. What's not to love, it doesn't do much else yet. There's no way to edit your recordings and they don't keep them in the cloud long-term. You've got to download them before they expire, which again is to be expected for a free tool. Wave Room is a great option for anyone whose budget is zero or anyone who's already going to be editing in a different tool anyway then you can just record in this one for free, download them, and then move them into your editing tool. Not a good option for anyone who wants to be able to record in 4K quality or that wants to be able to record, edit, and publish all in the same tool, which is always my preference. The fewer tools in the workflow, the better. Our second pick is Riverside.fm. Riverside was one of the first tools to do the recording locally thing for you and your guest or you and your co-host, but they've added so much more. Riverside is also browser-based, so nothing to download. They will record in 4K. You can bring on guests or co-hosts up to eight people total. They have transcript-based editing, which is where you edit the text and then it edits your video or audio to match, which is a huge time saver. They have a teleprompter feature built in, tons of AI tools that can actually help with the editing, which is nice. It'll actually do live streaming to social media platforms, which is not a feature you find in a lot of these recording platforms. And they've even got a mobile app. In fact, if your webcam is not very good, you can actually use your phone's camera by using their mobile app without having to connect through any other third-party tools. What's not to love? Well, they're editing, and even though I'll admit they're a great company and it gets better and better all the time, it's not as quick and easy as I would prefer. And that matters if you are particular like I am. I am a recovering perfectionist right here. Riverside is a great option for anyone who wants an all-in-one tool that's as simple as possible and you don't wanna get really particular about your edits. And if you want to also live stream your show or also do other live streaming. Now I'll show you the tool that I use here in just a second, but I just wanted to let you know, this is step 12 in our step-by-step -step process for creating a brand new podcast. We're doing one step per day in a brand new video and you can find the playlist with all of them and binge it on my YouTube channel. And our third top pick and what I primarily use in my business is Descript. Descript is well known for its editing capabilities. A lot of people didn't even know you could record in it, but you can. What's to love? It'll of course record in 4K. It runs in a browser, but they also have a downloadable version you can have on your computer, which means you can record without being connected to the internet. You can record with guests up to 10 people total using what Descript calls their rooms. Descript was the first program to have that transcript-based editing that I love. They've got the AI tools that will do some automatic editing and generate show notes and things like that. But after AI does its thing, if you wanna make changes, you can do it a lot more and have a lot more control in Descript. You can also create custom templates in Descript. And this is the thing that has been the game changer for my business so that you can quickly apply edits, add graphics, arrange the screen in a certain way if you've got multiple people, all with just a couple of clicks. What's not to love? Well, compared to Riverside, the main thing is you cannot live stream with Descript. I don't know if they have any plans to add it in the future, but that's not part of this package. Descript is a great option for anyone who wants to be able to record, edit, and publish all in one tool, and that makes a lot of other content, like I use it for our YouTube videos, course lessons, and lots more. I promise to give you three tips that will save you time on editing during the recording process that my clients love. First one, do a test recording every time. This is not anything groundbreaking, but most of us skip it because we just want to get to the recording process. But for each time you do a recording session, just record a five to 10 second clip, make sure everything's working, play it back, 
before you go and record a whole episode or multiple episodes. Number two, be okay looking at your notes. We have this belief in our heads for whatever reason that we have to be looking at the camera all the time or it looks unprofessional. Frankly, if I am watching your podcast, I wanna know that you're giving me the best information even if it means you have to look down at your notes sometimes. And it'll be much faster to edit later if you looked at your notes and kept going instead of having to retake the same thing 84 times because you couldn't remember what was in the notes. And tip number three, treat it like a live stream and tell your guests to do the same. Let them know and tell yourself, hey, if there's a coughing fit, I can edit it out, but otherwise just keep going. This will save you potentially hours in editing on the back end. So that's three ways to record in a way that will save you time on editing. But if you wanna spend as little time as possible editing while still ending up with high quality episodes, combine what you learned in this video with what's in the next video on the screen right now, where I'm showing you the best software for podcast editing for busy people or beginners. Click that on the screen right now to get started.